You have quarters and nickels saved in the piggy bank. There's a total of three dollars and forty-five cents in quarters and nickels. There are nine more nickels than quarters. How many nickels and quarters are in the piggy bank? So point uh, point one. Oh, quarters and nickels. Oops. So uh, for quarters, point two five Q. So Q is the number of quarters plus point oh five in is equal to 345. Um, so there's nine more nickels and quarters. So quarters, you can write this a couple of ways, but uh, subtract nine from quarters, nine more nickels of course. Okay, and you get the same number of nickels. So we can sub this in for nickels. So N is equal to Q minus nine. So 0.25 Q plus 0.05 Q minus nine is equal to 345. So just distribute this. So we get 0.05 Q minus 0.45 is equal to 345. And then 0.25 Q. All right, so we get 0 0.3, 3.0 Q, but just 3 Q. Then add, oh, I didn't know that, 0 0.45. All right, is equal to 3.90. Divide by 0.3, divide by 0.3. Uh, Q is going to be equal to, let me look, 3.9, divide by 0.3, is that like 10 or something? Oh, it's 13, oops. So 13 nickels, or 13 quarters. Um, so there's 13 quarters. Nine more nickels than quarters. Something's not panning out. Uh, I see what it is. Uh, this should have been a plus. I'm sorry. So let's just... It's a plus, so we subtract, so this becomes three instead. It's just a quick fix. I think it ends up being ten then. Yeah. Just make sure. Yep. Okay, so if we had 10 quarters, then um, there's nine more nickels, so number of nickels is equal to 19. So let's just check. 10 quarters is 250 plus 19 nickels. That's almost a buck, but it's 95 cents. So we end up with five. Um, so it ends up being four, one, 345. Yeah. So 10 quarters, 19 nickels. All right, I hope that helps you out. Thanks for watching. You have a great day.